What is up guys, Genesis 7 here, bringing you a new game. This is Warriors of Light. Now don't let this UI um, kind of put you off, because this is just the hub world, you kind of just walk around and stuff. Um, don't let it overwhelm you, it's very um, easy to understand, and it's one of the many reasons why I'm loving this game and why I'm making this video. So Warriors of Light, it is a game made by EMA Games. Don't really know much about them, but um, this had a global release, I think, a couple of weeks ago. And I seen it on a Facebook advert of all things, and I thought, that looked pretty cool. Went into it, and when I've played these type of games before, I think there's I've played a Pokemon um, clone of this before. Um... It's always been very overwhelming. It flashes up all these kind of images of buy this, buy that, buy that, VIP this, VIP that. This does have a VIP system, but it doesn't throw it in your face whatsoever. It doesn't throw anything in your face. It is amazing. The first 10 to 15 levels, um, it will be kind of holding your hand, um, letting you know how the game works. And it's I picked it up so fast and I am loving it. And I really kind of want to share some content with you guys, or at least kind of draw you guys in to play this game. Um, because it really is that good. Let's just claim these rewards. Um, the rewards are super, super fr um, friendly. The friendly awards? rewards? Super um, generous is what I'm looking for. Um, and there's so much to do. So you've got your basic kind of main quests. And if we, we can do that now. So if we just hit the main quest like I did there, we're going to run over, we're at the Burning Castle, stage four. Um, obviously there's an energy system, everything kind of speaks for itself. There's plenty of YouTube videos of uh, kind of just um, first 10 minutes, first 20 minutes of gameplay. If you want to see that, check it out. I'm just giving you my perspective after playing it for a couple of hours, um, three, four, well, I'll probably put about five hours into it or something like that. Again, I'm loving it. So I'm going to show you some of the, the gameplay. We're going to play as, um, I've got two teams as you can see on the upper left, just above me. I'm covering the chat box is what I'm doing. Um, well, I was covering the chat box in the hub world. So as you can see, we've got three objectives. Um, the way I'm playing at the moment, I've got team one, which is my tank and healer. Um, and then I've got team two, which is pure DPS. So when I'm going for the smooth run, of trying to complete the run, I'll take my tank and DPS. And when I'm trying to go for getting all the achievements and stuff, I'll take my all-out DPS so I can just smash through the um, the opposition of all the mobs. Now, this super fun, really smooth. It runs really smooth on my phone. And you probably notice that in the, in the bottom um, right corner is all my abilities that have been marked. Obviously, you level them up, power them up. Um, collect armor. It's an RPG. It's an ARPG action RPG as you can see there's plenty of action going off here I'm just holding it at the moment um, I do like there is a, a semi auto mode which kind of like just does it for you But I don't really like that. I like kind of being involved and hitting all my skills myself um, There are four classes in the game um, If you're wondering what server I'm in um, I'm in the EU2 server You'll find me, I'm a part of a guild at the moment as well. But uh, yeah, you've four classes, you've got the fighter class which I'm playing as, um, you've got the ranger class which is obviously like bow and arrow. The boss appeared, I sniper sapio. Um, you've got the priest which is kind of like your healer, and then you've got the, like the o AOE kind of mage, which is um, kind of like high burst kind of DPS. If you have played an MMO, you kind of know what all these terms are for. I used to play an MMO myself, that being Final Fantasy XIV. So, um, as I get older, as I got older, I had less time for that game. So having something like this that I can carry around with me is pretty awesome um, to kind of mess around with and not have to log in, get my bonuses, do a few quests, do a few runs. And it's just really fun. Like I can't. It's one of those things where I can talk about how good it is and show you some gameplay. But you've really got to give it a chance for yourself. Again, don't be overwhelmed by that big UI that you've seen at the beginning of the video, because um, it really walks you through it. It walks you through everything so well. Not to the point where it's like 
Oh, look at how everything! Look at everything you're earning. You're going to be earning this all the, through the game, and then you just hit a wall. Obviously, there is walls, um, but they're not as great as you think. It's not like, oh man, I'm doing so good at this game that I've got 20% battery. It's, um, and then it kind of like throws you into a, a mission, and you're like, well, like, oh man, I need to grind for three days to get what I need there. Um, it's not like that at all. It's super friendly. They've done a great thing and it's only just come out so you might this is the perfect time to kind of jump on it get before all, all the updates um i don't know what else to kind of go over i could go through each individual thing that it offers obviously this is your kind of quest map you've got a common elite and expert um i'm not on like have i unlocked expert yet apparently so no 26 i'm only level 25 so i'm nearly there um as you can see cleared the main quest so if you click it it kind of just kind of auto runs for you or you, if you want to run around yourself you can but uh if we go over and collect our rewards it's got a nice little story not like a huge kind of like epic scale rpg story but a nice story to kind of go alongside everything else it is offering um it has summon pools where you can kind of like pull new heroes that you can have um like i say i've got a dps kind of team and then i've got a tank healer and dps team which is nice um if I had one advice, uh, one one bit of advice, if you're playing this game, do your dailies. Do if you just go to your quest on the left hand side, just above my head actually, um, go through all these, do them, and do them as much as you can because you get energy, you get energy, you get experience, you get gold, and it's really easy to kind of build up. Um, I don't know what else to say. Obviously, there's guilds. You unlock that at a later level. It's not available at start. Um, runes, which is kind of like equipables to kind of boost your stats even further. You probably noticed that underneath my name, it says BR um, 13,304. I believe it stands for bravery. It's your bravery level. It's your overall kind of like power. Um, you've got a raid system where you can kind of like team up with other players, invite them and do little raids, trying to defeat bosses under certain time limits. There's PvP. Um, and again, like if you add friends, you can gift them. Um, let's have a look. Friends. You can gift them and claim energy. So I've never really ran out of energy whatsoever. I mean, there is a daily quest that is to buy energy with gold, but I think it only costs, I don't know, like five gold or um, five, I say gold, the diamonds. Um, again, there is a VIP system. It's completely optional and it doesn't throw it in your face. Yes, you get perks, but it's not pay to win. Um, it's kind of like pay to progress a little bit faster. Um, it can be very skill based at times because, as you could see, in, if we go, should we just do a another mission? Let's talk to this guy. He wants us to go to the ca uh, castle. It's made from solid rocks. Um, so, oh, we'll get more experience, which is awesome. Now they want us to go to the second floor of where we were, on the burning island. So we'll run over, and there's a one little button that I love, right? Um, and you'll see it in action in a minute. Let's do it. Pyromania 2. Um, let's go straight in. Now, above my little tornado move, there is a button that says Assemble. And because this works like a MMO, so you get like little markers of where the enemies are going to attack, um, I can dodge it like that, but usually my comrades are like dead slow. So if I was to dodge and then hit assemble, boom, they appear right next to me. That is the most useful feature I've ever seen in a game like this. So let's smash through this. Um, again, I'm making this video because I like and I love this game and I just wanted to share it with you guys. If it starts to turn into something where I can kind of like offer you um, content for it, I'll go down that road. But for now, it's just a video saying, look, play in this game, check it out. Um, again, I've seen it on fa advertised on Facebook of all things. So what are the achievements? Defeat the boss, defeat the boss within a minute and defeat five null archers which should be pretty simple a tornado move brings everyone in and then you can come once you level up your skills you probably notice them little yellow orbs that appear and um, you can combo your skills if you keep hitting them so the boss appears this boss is the executioner back at Rolo. don't know what i think i pronounced that completely wrong but um, if we just roll up here and go through the boss, because we've only got a minute to defeat it, you can see it laying its thing there. 
Um, I could have took my guys out of action. I'm going to bust in my DPS team. Um, as you can see, the enemy's health is going down as fast as I can. Use Assemble. They're right next to me. They're going to avoid the AoE from the boss. They're going to keep tapping with the combos. And there you go. Just like that. Boss defeated within 60 seconds. And we got all those stars. And there's just rewards all over the place. It's very generous. Um, I assume that once you get to the end game is where you're going to start grinding. Um, there is a bit of grinding where I'm at the moment. But it's not like... Oh man, no energy, you need to spend gold. Oh man, I need to spend diamonds. None of that. I've not had any of that. So, um, jump on it. Jump on it. They've got a Facebook page. You can follow it. I'll leave a link below. This ain't paid promotion or anything. This is just a guy that is loving a game and wants to share it with his community. Um, so, there you go. Oh, more rewards. We'll take it. Ooh, we'll take it. So there you go, Warriors of Light, available on iOS and Android. Download it if you want to. Again, I'll leave all the links below. Hope you enjoy the video. Leave a thumbs up if you want to see more of Warriors of Light. And if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button. If you're already here or just subscribed, hit the notification bell. You'll be notified of all my content, be it Sonic Forces Speed Battle, WWE Mayhem, Tap Mania, Dissidia, Warriors of Light. It's all there if you hit that notification bell. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side.